Now, in my previous video, I've defined what is poverty. What people define. What do people think? Rare poverty relative to prosperity and wealth. Poverty in terms of dollars. Poverty in terms of mindset. So now in this video, I am going to discuss about the various dimensions of poverty. Where do they belong? One dimension of poverty is financial poverty. This has to do with lack of money. I am poor, I have financial poverty because there is no money in the bank. There is nothing. I have just got my balance is almost zero. Just balance to maintain my account that is not closed. So you say you have got financial poverty. That is one dimension. Now the second dimension of poverty is mental poverty. What is mental poverty? Mental poverty is the poverty of ideas. You can be having money without ideas. And if you have got money without ideas, you might end up losing even that money. The bareness of mind and the brain is a terrible type of poverty because you can end up losing the money you have. The two having brain power and the money can help you. But having money, but then having mental, not having ideas, you are being, being, having poverty of ideas, then it is a serious situation. Poverty of ideas. The third dimension of poverty is to have is called social poverty. This is you can have money, but nobody to enjoy that money with. You are just a loner. Man, as man is a social animal. When you don't have friends, you are subject. You are subject to be pitied. You don't have friends. You don't have joy. You don't have satisfaction. You cannot go out and have. Even fun with somebody, you are an object of sympathy at the social level. So what you do, this is called also relational poverty. You are just having money, but you don't enjoy that money because of the social dimensions. The other one is, is uh, knowledge poverty. Knowledge poverty is having lack of having knowledge and information needed to progress. Ignorance is darkness. You may not be able to achieve much because you don't have ideas. You don't even know what to do. You don't know even how to change even your operation. Even when you have an industry, you have an office, even when this changes, you don't understand. And so, if you don't have information, you'll be deformed. If you are not inspired, you are going to expire. If you don't have ideas, you are not going to join the flu. So, knowledge poverty is terrible. And it's a terrible thing which can affect your productivity. Then the other dimension is the dimension of physical poverty. What is physical poverty? Physical poverty has to do with health. Health is wealth. If you are sick, you cannot be able to become productive. So now, when you are health, it is a benefit. But now when you are sick, this is what I'm calling the physical poverty because when you are sick, it can drain your money. You can imagine when you are having patients People having cancer in your family, it just drain the family. You sell the assets, you sell the land, you sell businesses, you sell the houses. So you end up into poverty. It is physical poverty and it is very dangerous. 
The sixth type dimension of poverty is non-achievement. Non-achievement of the non-achievement can also be another dimension of poverty. You are just existing without the substance. There is no progress. There is no impact. There is no achievement. And then you find at the time of the end of this life, you are just born. People will say you are just born, you lived, and you died. For sure, this is not the type of the summary of your life you would like to have. You are born, you lived, and you died. You did not leave anything. That is a sad commentary of your life. The seventh is spiritual poverty. And this is the poverty of soul and the spirit. You have to believe there is life after death. Money and material position are only tools in this part of eternity and they will be meaningless in the afterlife. So you see, the multi-dimensions of poverty combine to make a person, a person to be holistic. Thank you very much. I hope the dimensions of poverty is going to make you to assess what sort of poverty are you lacking. Is it spiritual poverty? Is it non-achievement? Is it financial? Is it health? Physical? Or whatever. Otherwise, thank you very much for listening to me. I am Motea Rukwaru. You are family therapist a relationship coach from the moment with Rukwaru YouTube channel. Thank you very much and I value you. Adios.